I know Tara Deckers because on December 6th, I was working in Sioux County and uh, she reported a fire on her vehicle. Um, so I responded to that um, that afternoon and I think uh, I was a ways away so I didn't arrive until approximately 15 minutes later. So you're talking within 15 minutes that van became fully engulfed in flames. Um, there wasn't really anything left of it other than a, you know, the structure of it. Uh, there, the seats were pretty much out of it and everything was burnt up on it. It was completely black. When I got there, um, Tara was in another vehicle um, and I went and found her and just kind of asked her what had happened. We heard a pop, which it had it, like a backfire sound, I guess you'd call it. Um, and then um, very quickly the van filled up with smoke. Um, I think one of the th important things here is um, these kids, if I remember correctly, they were all about seven years or younger. You know, they might have been in booster seats, they might have been in baby seats. So that in itself would have taken a little bit more time to get these young ones out of there. I, I just remember being very cold. So that I think just enhances everything. You know, it's that cold and she had to act um, that fast in the cold. Yeah, she was very focused. She was very professional. Um, you know, a lot of times with um, high adrenaline moments like this, you know, these big events like this, so people have different reactions. Um, in, in law enforcement, we look at it as, you know, some sometimes somebody will either, they'll, they'll fight, they'll flight, or they'll freeze. Um, she chose to fight, and she chose to do whatever it took to save the lives of those little kids in there. Um, she definitely did not freeze even though the weather was really cold that day, but uh, she did a really great job. I think that I did what anyone would do um, in that situation, and I just um, praise God that he gave me the clarity and the quickness to get them all out before the van went up in flames. You know, a lot of people, when you, when you do awards and stuff like this, a lot of people say, well, I'd do that anytime and anybody would do it. So, and that's probably the mindset she has, that, you know what, that's, that's, that was my job on that day is to make sure those kids kids got out of that vehicle safe so and actually you know it was i don't think that uh, she made any mistakes i think she did what she had to do if she was available i would have no qualms about letting her watch my kids after something like this she she really proved herself to be a great um hero so to speak well i would not have my children here with me if she wouldn't have acted fast. I consider Tara a hero. I'm very thankful for what she has done.